Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, reviewing Love Island USA, season six, episode 27. Yeah, before I get into it, please make sure to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a comment down below. So in the deliberation for what couple the Islanders wanted to save, we didn't actually get to hear too much justification. I think they said they don't wanna, uh, they didn't want to send out Harrison and Sierra because they just got together. Um, then they said they want Rob to stay, but they didn't really say much about Kayla and Aaron, who was ultimately who they decided to pick. I think anybody could have guessed that one. If I was playing, see here's, see even that, like to me, I would play a game. Like why the hell would I save Aaron and Kayla? Send them hacking but anyways uh they chose to save them then Mora tells Cassie that she has a lifeline she can couple up with a guy to save him and she chose Rob Rob oh. hey Danielle can I talk to you for just a little sec you were genuine and you were yourself and you went for what you wanted you're a really beautiful young lady. I actually need Aaron to like cool his loins. Relax. Like time and place, sir. This relax. And even if he goes home, if y'all really have this strong friendship, y'all gonna see each other? Y'all go it's okay. Oh, he was doing a lot, but his little bestie is still here. I'm not mad at the people who went. I feel like Harrison was just as bland this time as he was last time. At, at least this time he wasn't talking about his gold business the entire time. Uh, Sierra, I'm kind of indifferent about. And Daniela was not really going to connect with anyone at this point. So it makes sense that those people left. After the dumping, Cassie and Rob talk about rekindling their connection. Me and Daniela actually broke things off today. I didn't think we'd have a future. It would have been a lot worse if I didn't say anything. She left tonight and was thinking, you know, everything was fine with us. Me and Rob did have casa. <laughs> we did have casa. Isn't it weird? Why do you think we didn't, like, try and talk after the show? I was really, I guess I was nervous. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like this whole, like, ooh, memory lane. Remember casa? We had casa. I think even in her speech, she was like, oh, our time was cut short. You chose somebody else. <laughs> in Casa last year, she chose, you cut your own time short. But anyways, Kayla and Aaron, well actually, even before Kayla and, Kayla and Aaron were talking, good God, Ian Sterling made a joke that killed me. He was like, um, now that the other two couples have been dubbed, or the three people have been dubbed, Kayla and Aaron are confirmed to be the least compatible couple in America. Or America's least compatible couple. I was like, no, why would you say that? <laughs> You're not wrong, but like, why would you say that? Anyways, they're talking and um, they're wondering why they're in the bottom. They think it's because of Casa Amor and Kayla says she feels like the audience thinks that she's dumb for taking him back. Girl, you said it, not us. And me personally, I'm like, I think it's all of that on top of the tears. Like we're tired of the tears. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot. No problem with being an emotional person, but good God, every other day, it's exhausting. In the morning, Kayla thinks that the public thinks that she let Aaron off too easily. Mm, yeah. Rob makes breakfast for Cassie. One thing about Rob, he gonna make a girl breakfast. I actually really do appreciate that. I'm sure a lot more guys make breakfast than what we see, but we consistently see Rob making breakfast for whoever he's coupled up with. I actually do really like that. Aaron tells Rob that Leah is still very into him, mainly because she was crying at the recoupling. But Rob says that Cassie is a vibe and he wants to explore that connection. Janae also thinks that Leah is really into Rob, but Leah, very unconvincingly, but she said it nonetheless, she says Miguel is reciprocating the 
affection, the feelings, the emotions, whatever that she's putting out there. So if she was put in a position to choose somebody, she would always choose Miguel, even if hypothetically it was between Miguel and Aaron. Now, I don't know how far true that is, but girl, if you go back to, to did I say Aaron? Y'all know who I'm talking about. They about this, the same person. Uh, if she goes back to Rob after all that transpired, to me, it's weird. It's really weird. At least with Miguel, she hasn't said anything damning about his character and stuff like that. Like, it makes sense to stay with him. But I could not fathom going back to somebody who I basically called a bitch baby. Shout out Scandal. Like, that's not weird. To me, that's weird. Moving on. Kendall talks about falling in love with Nicole and Cordell feels the same. Just like out of the blue, we're just talking about some random shit. And she's like, Kendall, you're everything to me. I don't think I've legit ever felt like this from a woman. Falling in love with her. I feel you. You in the same boat? Are you the same way? Yeah, bro, same way. Like, shit. I say hold off until you can't no more. Yeah, and that's, that's when you know that it was the right time. So some people have been saying that they think Kendall is a game player. I can't say that I disagree. If I was on, if I was on any show, if ever you see me on a show, and it's not like a docu-series or something, just know I'm playing a game. So I don't disagree that there's an element of gameplay when it comes to Miguel. But I also, when it comes to Kendall, guys, can you see? I'm so disinterested at this point. Um, I don't even know who's who. When it comes to Kendall, I do think that Nicole is his dream girl. Like if he were to build a person, it would be Nicole. So I don't doubt that he has very strong feelings for her. I just think the game playing is also an element there. And people know, people know they're on a show. People know there's an incentive to get to the end. Like there's an element with everybody. Cordell, chill out. Cassie and Rob talk about family and where things stand for them in the villa right now. Are your parents still together? No, they got a divorce like two years ago. Yeah, I always say it's better to have two healthy households oh, than one rain. toxic one. Honestly, like at the end of the day, I think when you get older too, you realize like family's never gonna leave you. Being in the bottom, like were you surprised? No. Well, the only common denominator in me being the bottom every time is me, so. <laughs> You've changed, I think. Yeah. I think you're a Good. lot more like, <laughs> I don't know, you seem a little more down to earth. I feel like you're more Definitely. open and talking and stuff, like communicating yeah. your feelings. I like that Rob is able to have a regular conversation with someone, and I think that's the difference when he's really into you. He can just be normal. He doesn't have to break the awkward tension with his own awkward tension that just makes it more awkward. I think he did the animal thing with uh, Andrea. I think he brought like a, a, he brought something to her and then it crawled on her. But his other connections too, like with Leah, at least they both shared that common interest in animals and things. And then now with Cassie, it's like, it's just normal. If it comes up naturally in conversation, that's cool. But the way Rob used to insert his animal talks, it just, it never made sense. I liked this conversation. I also like that Rob was self-aware of the fact that every time he's in the bottom, it's probably due to him. Yes, yes. Somebody who doesn't really have that much self-awareness is Kaylor. I just feel like being in the bottom three is just like making me just questioning things, like just stressing a little bit about us, but. We're in a relationship. I don't, I'm not, I don't cheat. Like that's fucking ridiculous. Like I want to be your girlfriend. I love you and that's all true, but it's also like, I'm just like scared. The outside world is even a bigger test. It's not like I don't want to be with you. I didn't ask you to be my girlfriend just to like, I don't know, for the fun of it. Respectfully, Kaylor, you know, your emotions are your emotions. Feel how you feel, girl. This is a TV show though. And I don't know how many people are trying to tune in to watch the same girl cry for the 11th time in seven days. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a lot of tears. It's a lot. She wakes up and finds a reason to cry every day, every day. Girl, like, I'm sorry. I would vote you out too. Like, I don't want to see it anymore. <laughs> I would not want to see it anymore. So then uh, Aaron reassures her that he's a loyal guy and he sees himself marrying her in the future. Loyal is a word. Loyal is a word. Don't know if it's a word that I would use to describe Aaron, but it is a word. All right. Cassie has a conversation with Kayla and she shares that on her season, she wishes that she didn't 
um, give in to Leo so quickly after Casa Amor. So if you were not there last year, let me give you a little rundown, okay? Cassie and Leo had some back and forth at the beginning of the season, but eventually they started to explore the connection more exclusively in Casa Amor. She found somebody to connect with. He really found somebody to connect with and they had the sex. When Cassie comes back, she learns about this. She's very upset, re -tay -tay, whatever. This guy basically drops the girl that he had sex with and wants to pursue Cassie wholeheartedly. Cassie is discovering that maybe she's bisexual. So she's into the girl that Leo threw to the side and had the sex with. So that was a weird triangle for a little bit. But at the end, I'm pretty sure Leo told Cassie that he loved her. And then they ended the season together. As we know, obviously, because she's on the show, that didn't work out. So she's like, yeah, I probably should have taken more time to assess the relationship instead of just getting busy with him. I would agree. I would agree. So Kaylor, listen up, sweetie. You and Aaron very well could have something great and, and, and fruitful and successful on the outside. But I do think she needs to look a little bit deeper into their relationship. It's kind of hard on Love Island because there's nowhere to go. You kind of just have to forgive for the sake of peace. But... I don't know. I think they really need to deep dive their relationship just a little bit more. So they play the newlywed game. And as they were preparing, why did Janae say to Kenny, you have six siblings or something like that? Four or six. And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell do y'all talk about? You're just finding out now how many siblings he has? Okay. All right, let's go to the game. <laughs> Serena, I'm only gonna say the things that I wanna talk about. Serena does not like Cordell's short-term memory. They got that wrong. Cordell does not like Serena's pettiness. They got that one right. Serena thinks Kendall is selfish. They got that wrong. Um, Cordell wrote Janae. Cordell thinks Miguel is the selfish one. They got that wrong. Serena wrote down Leah. Janae thinks that Kaylor complains a lot. We all got that right, okay? <laughs> um, hold on. He said the same thing. Yeah, he also thinks that Kaylor complains a lot, but Janae wrote down um, Serena. Cassie thinks that Kendall gives her the ick. They got that wrong. Uh, Rob wrote down Aaron. Rob said Janae gives him the ick, they got that wrong, Cassie wrote down Leah. Cassie thinks, this is so dumb, Cassie thinks Aaron is here for the wrong reasons, they got that wrong, Rob wrote himself, and Rob thinks that Kendall is here for the wrong reasons, but Cassie wrote down Aaron. Kayla thinks that Aaron's red flag is flirting, they got that right, Aaron says it's um, Kayla's people pleasing, they got that right, Leah's biggest regret so far is how she handled Rob. They got that right. Miguel says it was the cost of recoupling. They got that right. Nicole and Kendall, they didn't really have any super hard questions, so I didn't write them down, but they ended up getting uh, four points, which is a tie between them and Kayla and Aaron. After the tiebreaker, Kayla and Aaron won. And this time there's actually an incentive to winning. They get to have a live video call to their parents the next day. The next day for us will be Thursday, right? So they get to pick two other couples and they choose Kendall and Nicole and Cordell and C. Nope, Serena. I did not think they were gonna do family day in a different way. I was just wondering like, how could you actually twist up family day? But I'm not mad at this for a few reasons. Number one, we might get to have a longer like conversation portion of things because I feel like, I feel like the family doesn't really get into the nitty gritty or if they do, we don't get to see it because there's so many families to go through. So if we're whittling it down from seven families to just three, I hope you get to see more conversations and real opinions about how things have gone so far. Another reason why I do like this is because um, I don't think we need to see everyone's family. Like respectfully, what sense would it make to see Rob and Cassie? 
I'm going to care. Like, who, who cares at this point? So I do like that. I hope that they have a private conversation that's extensive that we kind of get to see because I want the real opinion. I am still of the belief that if I was one of the family members calling in, I'm going to tell you like it is. I honestly don't care that you're on television. I don't care that it would sink your game. If it saves you from more embarrassment on the show, I'm going to tell your ass how I feel. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you because if these other people won't tell you, I will because I'm your family and I mean it. But then I'm like, well, as the game player, I think the game player in me would want to just make it look as good as possible so you don't get voted out. Anyway, speaking of the vote, you're supposed to vote for your Mr. and Mrs. Who did you guys vote for? Let me know down below what we find out the results on Friday. So until then, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Not sure when videos will come out because like I said yesterday, I am going on vacation starting tomorrow. So just look out for the videos yeah, that's all I can say. And I will see you in the next one.